guys. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for likes, the comments, and subscribe. So we can write into the um, I was sitting there listening to a video and something popped in my head and I forgot to bring it up uh, that day, but I, I didn't think of anything. So she was like, yeah, somebody was outside of the home taking pictures of me or on the phone talking to somebody in the building. Now, something made me get up out of my bed that day. I, like I said, I didn't think of anything. I would go get a black and mild, right? So as I'm coming outside, it's just late. I don't know what time it must be like. Late, 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 late. Something like that. Late, right? I go outside and this motherfucker was on the phone with somebody in the dark. Like, all, when I go outside over there, and I'm like, who the fuck is that? All in black. The dark on the fucking phone, pacing back and forth, forth was on the phone. So I go to the gas station, get my black and miles, and I see like a white, she looked like no disrespect to white people, but this one looked like she one of the holes or something, five two, like the little blue pillar, pillar thing where you put the things in, right? So I so she waved to me, I didn't think of anything, you know what I mean? I'm coming out, something got me out of my bed. And I'm like, damn, I need a black and out. And I look at the time, I'm like, okay, you know. They're open 24 hours, but still, I go inside. And, you know, but I mean, it wasn't out, it wasn't in, inside. I, it was outside. It was outside, you know, the window part. So I come back, and there's this guy, and I'm looking. I don't know why my attention went right across the street where I, where I come out my building. And this motherfucker is, is I'm like, what the fuck is he doing, pacing back and forth? Late, late like that, and he, and, he, and he wouldn't even catch it because it was so dark. But you could tell this motherfucker had a black shirt, black sweatpants, and pants on. And on the phone, like, okay, it wasn't late. It was leading one day, one two, one two o'clock in the morning. I just got out of bed and something kept, kept like I need a black eye or some shit like that, right? And I'm like, why is she standing out here like that, like? I mean, why she's going out, out outside like that? Like, and I guess I uh, and she waved and said hi to me. And right there, where the guys can see where I go, you know, when they pump gas and shit. It's right there. And so, oh my God. Oh, I didn't think of anything. When the lady said something about somebody coming in the area, and I literally watching the fire and shit like that. And on the phone, he could have been talking on the phone with somebody, I don't know who. Now I got trespassing, okay? I don't know what that is, trespassing on somebody's property and shit like that. So I get up and wake up, I'm like, all right, boom, that's just she's open 24 hours, right? And they got cameras in there, you know what I'm saying? How many days, how many weeks, or whatever. So they did go down, the cameras, it's all over the place, on the gas station. So I go, and it caught me, and I came home, like, and I look, and he's still there. Like on the phone, pacing back and forth on the phone. I don't know what the hell that was about, but I hope it wasn't what who it, who it was. Cause I got the seven up, uh, I got the seven phone, with some sneaky shit. You know what I mean? It could be some sneaky ass shit, or, or doing something, or saying something to try to make it seem like it what it is. It's not. I meant to say that when I did that, that week the next day, but it didn't register to me till just now. So I'm like, oh, I need to talk about it. So whoever the fuck that person was on the phone, one, two, something in the morning, it had to be something. Because I was knocked out in bed until I got, I got uh, uh, something to get me up and just go outside and get black minds. No, no, I'll go outside one, two, black and one of us, you know, chilling with us, you know, like the other kid. So, but I'm one, I'm like, oh, that shit's over 25. I'm like, oh, no, I ain't cool. Whatever. Yeah, the nine of cups here, all right? It's not a cup that's living in purpose, but I feel like this is some down low type shit, all right? So it could be some bisexual shit going on. I'm sorry, I'm just saying, uh, bisexual shit going on. Uh, whatever the fuck this, this is not a cup is, it's, it's material abundance. But what I'm getting here is this is some com comfortability here, okay? Maybe somebody was, you know, was leaving, you know, or time has been wasted, I feel like. 
or this person feel like they feel like time has been wasted, or this could be happy times, or somebody could be leaving the situation here, is what I'm getting. Let me get some more pies off of my big ass deck. I'm definitely gonna make this immediately available, but I'm taking my time with it. I had to put myself on the deck, anyway. Fuck it up. It's gonna be totally, 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 totally different than that we're talking about cards out there. Alright. So. I don't know if I want to put pictures on or not. I don't know. Let's see. But let me get, um, okay, so this is the Ten of Wands. All right? So when I get the Ten of Wands here, this is telling me that, um, still, I feel like one is one is, one is something to be completed because it's the represent completion. But it's also represent responsibilities, okay? I don't know if this person wants to put the burden on someone else or want someone else to take the responsibility. But it also says take more than what you can handle. I don't know if this is tired. This person is what very really tired of the situation or this person is overworked or having someone overworked or it could be dealing with handling all tasks at one time. I really feel like when one is in the ten of wands here, this person was very really stressed. It looked like, like I like that day when I went out at one, two o'clock in the morning to go to my, to go to the gas station because it opened about 24 hours through the window, right? This person, the male, he must have called somebody around that time. And it must have said something, but I don't know. You know I mean? I'm not feeling no mind. So this person looked like it was really stressed. Stressed the fuck out. Very, um, hurt. You know, could be struggling or over or going through something. I feel like what, whatever this was, it was time to let go of the baggage or let go of something. But right in the mirror, that individual looked like this person looked like it was stressed and burning. He looked like he was taking on uh, some kind of responsibility or whatever the fuck case may be. That person was stressed as fuck. Let's be stressed. All right. So I don't know if this person was usually be in a nine of cups or usually, you know, having a lifestyle where it is, you know, that's with men and women because it's a bisexual um, card and not cups, it's bisexual. So this person is definitely bisexual, meaning that it mess with men and it mess with women, okay? So maybe you try to hide behind women to cover up that it is dealing with men as well, all right? So what I'm getting here is that's the satisfaction that he, that if he had, it take it to I can fuck with men, I can mess with women, or whatever thing it was, it can lead this person in a two wall to Very burning, very stress. Okay? Could be exhausting or something, or somebody could be exhausting this individual. Take what resonates about having to restore me. Alright, I'm asking for the energy. And if you're here for entertainment purposes only, fine. And if you want to leave the cash, a donation, or whatever, or on the other channel, I'll leave the link in the description or the comment section um, after the video. But let me pick up this, this, this here. Here. I could tell somebody who tried to block my crown shot with my third eye um, as well. The King of Cups came out. The Queen of Pentacles came out. And then the Seven Swords. There we go. What I said. What I said. The Seven Swords. Sneaky shit. Yeah, okay? So when the King of Cups is here, this is the person that come off as... Okay, this is the, um, this is the person that come off as most emotional. Some, like a, some kind of leader of some sort. Not showing these emotions, all right? Very controlling or one of the controller outcome, all right? This is supposed to be someone who balances these emotions. So that means that you won't, you won't, you will not see the real true emotion of this person, all right? This person has a good way of hiding. To me, I can assist it somewhat. But this person has a habit of hiding its emotion, not really showing its emotion, all right? It could act like a supportive leader. We have the queen of pinnacles here. And what I'm getting here is we are a masculine and a feminine, a mother, a father, a wife, or a husband, a side bitch or side a, a dude. Take the lesson, so I don't have to be thrown, okay? Listen, if you're here to listen, fine. I really feel like whatever this is, it had to deal with this individual's security, stability, money, the independency, the root source of this individual. Feminine or this person who embodies a feminine energy. 
okay? Because this person um, is very uh, practical, uh, very uh, comfort, or very comfortable, or financially secure. This person is very much abundant, okay? What I'm getting here is the seven swords here. So what this is telling me that somebody was trying to get away with something, or get away with stealing, or getting away with, you know, being connected. Um, there was some kind of deception going on, or maybe this person set this queen of pentacles. Is it queen of pentacles? Yeah, queen of pentacles. It is in the seventh floor. Very sneaky. Don't trust that per, uh, person. That person is cheating. You know, doing um, underhanded um, uh, uh, shit here. I really feel like what this is was um, was put in a position posi position to make it seem like it was cheating. Whoever around is in this situation is very jealous, very manipulative. Okay, there was a manipulation going on. Being being dishonest, not really telling the truth, doing trickery, doing is a trickery and tactic tactic which is strategize the event and the situation and the outcome with the Queen of All Pentacles or the King of Cups who is involved or it could be the two separate situations we're talking about, right? I also feel like this is lying. Somebody was lying. Somebody was manipulative. Somebody was starting and stirring the pot. You know what I mean? And whoever this is, this Queen of Pentacles, was in the seven of um, 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 wands. I mean, swords. Meaning, this person walked the fuck away. You don't have to see the deception. It can feel it. Well, I don't know. It, 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 it was silly. You know what I mean? So, whatever that scenario was, it was based on you're trying to get away with something based on trying, uh, uh, based on lies and deception and, and, and being very really dishonest. This person must have did some doggy deal. Doggy deal behind the scenes. And this person might not have it. had no clue of what the hell is going on. We have a temperance. So, this could be dealing with an, uh, uh, a temperance, an earth angel, something that's um, very grounded. All right, whoever you are, you could be a good luck, or this is telling me that this is dealing with someone who's being very balanced. The Queen of Pentacles is very balanced, okay? It's a good influencer, all right? It could be an older person, or it don't have to be you can embody an older soul, all right? What I'm getting here is this person does things in moderation, has a lot of patience, it's dealing with your inner calmness, all right? I really feel like you see things from a different perspective, and you probably get the chance, but then the outcome got way, way like You feel me? This is tranquility, all right? This is harmonizing the relationship. This could have been like a soulmate that came back around at the or 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 dealing with a situation or scenario. All right, I feel like this person was trying to compromise, trying to smooth the situation, but somebody was in a sudden soul to hair, sneaky, conniving, still was or tried to steal something valuable or tangible or something that was material materialistic where it could benefit themselves. Is what I'm saying. So it was some drinking. Yes, it was. This person was in the energy of forgiveness, of healing. And like I said, somebody in the mix was not sincere with the seven souls. They thought they was getting away with whatever the hell they was getting away with. All right? I really feel like this person tried to accommodate, try to, you know, balance the cups out, but, you know, whatever. Whoever this is has to have, whoever this is needs to heal. It's time for them to fucking heal. It's with the Tempest card. We have this card out. This is the page of cups here. This is using your intuition. You could be a, um, a, you could be a Pisces. But you have a water sign here. This is dealing with your moon chakra. So this is the some sexuality or some sexual um, things going on. But the moon card in this in this, in this this deck is telling me that this person was very into using his intuition. But also, there was something behind the scenes that was hidden that was not in the best interest of this individual, masculine or feminine, or both of them who was involved in some situation, I don't know. But we have a temperance. So it could be three or more people involved in the situation. All right? I'm getting this had to be about love. Maybe they said that this person was in love or, or had a relationship going on. I doubt that. All right? Um, I really feel like this person tried to act out of kindness and forgive and forgive and move over. I really feel like this person thought this was a good idea. It was very thoughtful, all right? And this person was being introverted, okay? I really feel like this person was trying to co co cooperate and bring and this smooth situation out. But like I said, somebody had another motive. 
Somebody living a fantasy. We have the five of ones. I said more than one uh, people this came with sideways. These individuals are stuck in a situation, okay? So this came with sideways. So this is telling me that there's someone was I'm trying to bring a conflict between our earth energy or whoever I'm speaking of in the situation here. But it was stopped, it was pulled sideways, all right? I really feel like they try to stop someone from shot from speaking or from communicating. And the reason and how to do that is to block. Stop a, a, a communication from coming in. All right, but I'm getting in the five of wands here because it came sideways. Something been blocked, blocked. A conflict between these group of more than one people, you know, the, the arguments or some kind of um fighting that was a tent, uh, 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 was a tent to happen, right? But whatever it is, a human uh, personality or human ego clashing, whatever. I feel like somebody tried. Or want someone's attention and being defensive or being very territorial, like that's mine, or or they was in, in the mentality, that's that's mine, that belongs to me, or however, or that personal situation, or whatever belongs to me, but I don't think so, okay? We're dealing with karma. So Saturn dealing with leadership and karma here, is what I'm getting. This is assertive, all right? It's also dealing with both chakra, root chakra, total plastics. All right, so we got the Jupiter, we got the moon, we got Saturn and Billion. What's this? This one to come out. This sticks out. So this is this is seven of um four is making a break for it. So when they created this illusion and created this drama, they were gonna run for the hill, okay? Stealing and looking behind them and seeing if anybody seen them while motherfuckers in the community trying to figure out what the hell is going on with the missing missing items and shit, some shit like that. So probably was doing shit in the dark. But I'm getting it. You have the Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning. Maybe this person said this is a new beginning. Maybe this person made, created a, a, a false narrative or whatever the case may be. But what this is, is burning to the ones. All right? This is burning. Wanted you to be burning. Wanted you to be in your feelings. Whatever the fuck case may be, somebody walked away because it was some deception. This person wasn't being dishonest. It wasn't being truthful. It wanted you to be in your emotion. This person was tapped in and tuned in. And this person needed to find out the truth. This was a new beginning. This person probably trying to say that this individual wanted. Wanted the new beginning. The relationship. The, ro the new romance. Okay? The, um, the, um, the socializing. All about socializing. All right, this person's down pouring its cup in its own, own uh, cup. The pouring its own emotions in its own cup is what I'm getting. Somebody try, like I said, this is representing the crown chakra. So somebody try to block or create a, a, a dilemma in the crown chakra. Now the root chakra came out. This is a person dealing with too many motherfucking people, sleeping with too many motherfucking people, and it's dealing with karma. This is overbearing. This is stress the fuck out. This is problems. Okay, okay, this is obligations. This is what some kind of delay. So, whoever this is, probably try to delay the situation. What is um, Ace of Cups here? Try to put the burden on the Ace of Cups here. For prevent it from having to be getting here is what I'm getting. And we do have the Justice card. There you go. Always come through, you guys. Universal truth. The heart shot get activated. All right, I feel like this person try to win the heart heart chakra, the love by tampering in the root chakra, by playing around with the crown, but with the crown chakra or this person intuition. When I did this, it means that this person was watching. When I scratched my eyes, it means this person was watching, watching the whole time, spying, watching, observing. All right, this is justice. This is karmic justice or karmic debt. This is dealing with someone's consequences or dealing or taking on someone's consequences. But whatever this is, dealing with the law. Whatever this is, it wants to be in a contract. And I was told in my journey, no sign, no motherfucking contract with no back. This is some kind of contract. I don't know if it's like dealing with court, or dealing with court law, or a judge of justice, or you know, um, city hall, or some shit like that. We get married, or some shit like that, or whatever that's going to be. This was some kind of agreement or some settlement. Maybe this person said they settled. I don't think this person, whoever this is, is in the mix, don't even know what the hell is going on by home or on the line, on the other line. You see what I'm saying? So justice is here to bring the balance, and this is the truth. 
Somebody try to bind holes and bind something. Bind a thought that they will bind someone to something. All right? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Somebody try to bind something. And Venus is dealing with love, you know? Yeah, somebody try to bind something. Here we go. Take back out of here. The five of swords, okay? I mean, no, this came out once. Five of swords. This person wanted to defeat or did defeat it. Or what a win at all costs. But whatever this is, you need to surrender. This is about change. This is about walking away from the situation. It's a set confirmation. This person walked away. Because whatever it was, it was deceptive. It wasn't honest. It wasn't true. Even if it's sincere, with the king of um, the cups to come out of the king of cups, it was her. This person thought because it came out being honest and being and, and being thoughtful, the late no. It didn't come out like that. Somebody had a, diff, a different motive. All right, but I'm getting here is somebody wanted to want this person to self sabotage this um, situation so it could be say, so it could say I told you so. But why are you doing things behind the scenes in the dark? This is a lack of communication. This person don't know how to communicate. Now with the temperance, anything outside of temperance or archangel or someone to put balance, it wasn't communicating like that. It was talking bullshit. You see what I'm saying? And if we want to get to a communication and serious um, conversation, let's go around the circle. It don't, it, don't, it don't get to, you know what I mean? So it's still a question mark. This was some intimidating situation. I feel like I feel like this person is trying to be a bully. I feel like this person will eventually want to result in violence, all right, or some kind of murder or some kind of assault. Okay, we're dealing with some kind of abuse. I don't know. It's dealing with rape. Does this represent rape as well? I don't even know if like that. Judge, somebody call judgment. Okay, somebody call judgment. Okay, that's what it is. All right, a final say so. Balancing the situation out of crime, shocking as well, dealing with the Venus is here. All right, someone came into their awakening. Someone had to self evaluate the situation to order to give you this message intuitively. Okay? And what I'm getting here is this was a renewal of something. This was a decisiveness or decision, a decision that this person had to take. The route they had to take and not get off track, but put a pause for me. All right? I really feel like what this is was ready to snap. Like uh, a point of blame to you. This is all also forgiveness and this is what this person's attention was to smooth up situation. But people don't change. They act like they do, but they don't change. You know what I'm saying? It's a final examination. So once the universe or once the above got the final say so, the final see through the situation, they begin to make a final decision um with the outcome, all right? And as you flow, as you should read. So whatever you put out is what the hell they don't get back, collective. And the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck with people like that, all right? I hope you have a good one. Somebody did a trip, trespassing your property, trespassing your home, or trespassing your privacy, um, 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 privacy of your mind, your space, okay? And that's what I'm gonna try to get some dirt on the individual to go back and run their fucking mouth and create some more drama. Conflict. You know what I mean? I don't even know it's like that. All right, collect it. So I'm gonna come back with another one. Here you go. All right, be safe. Have a good one. All right, I'm gonna come back with another one.